how to describe 3D shapes. But first, let's play a memory game. Which shape is missing? Cone, cylinder, sphere, cuboid, cube, pyramid. Okay, so there are six 3D shapes here. You have to recognize the missing one. Are you ready? Which shape is missing? The cylinder. Which shape is missing now? Cube. Which shape is missing? Cuboid. Which 3D shape is missing? Pyramid. Do you know which one is missing? Cylinder. What's missing now? Cone. Okay. Very good. So, Let's describe some 3D shapes. Here is a cube. How many faces and how many edges does a cube have? Let's check out the faces first. One, two, three, four, five, Six. How many faces does a cube have? Six faces. A cube has six faces. Now let's count the edges. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve edges. How many edges does a cube have? Twelve. A cube has twelve edges. So that's how you would describe a cube. You could say a cube has six faces and 12 edges. What about a cuboid? It kind of looks the same as a cube, doesn't it? Let's find out anyway how many faces a cuboid has. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just the same as a cube. It's basically the same shape, but a cuboid is a little longer. It's not as even on every side and every face. So a cuboid has six faces. How many edges do you think this cuboid will have? Will it be the same as the cube? Let's find out. One edge, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve edges. Just the same as a cube. So a cuboid and a cube both have six faces and twelve edges. Let's move on to the next 3D shape, and what is it? It's a pyramid. Let's find out how many faces 
a pyramid has. By the way, this is a square-based pyramid. Okay, a square base. It means it has a square base. So let's count the faces. One, two, three, four, five. There's the square base. So a pyramid has five faces. How many edges does a pyramid have? Let's count the edges of this pyramid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A pyramid has eight edges. So, when asked to describe a pyramid, you could say, a pyramid has five faces and eight edges. Let's go to the next 3D shape. What is it? It is a cylinder. So let's see how many faces, how many edges and how many surfaces a cylinder has. Let's begin with the faces. A cylinder has one, two faces. How many edges does a cylinder have? Two. And what about surfaces? What can we say about the cylinder? A cylinder has one curved surface. Okay. So when asked to describe a cylinder, you could say a cylinder has two faces, two edges and one surface. Let's go to the next shape. Cone. Okay. How many faces does a cone have? Just one. A cone has one face. How many edges does a cone have? Just one. A cone has one edge. What about surfaces? A cone has one curved surface. Okay, so when we're talking about a cone, we could say a cone has one face, one edge, and one surface. What is it? It's a sphere. Do you see any faces on the sphere? Do you see any edges on the sphere? No, neither do I. So there are no faces. There are no edges. A sphere has one curved surface. Okay, so when asked to describe a sphere, you could say it has no faces and no edges. It has one curved surface. Okay, here is a little activity you could do at home with some Play Doh and some toothpicks. Now, toothpicks are quite sharp, so you'd have to be very, very careful not to prick your finger. You could use spaghetti instead. Okay? Here is a challenge. Do you think you could build this 3D structure using Play Doh and toothpicks? Here is a square based pyramid you could try to construct. This is a triangular based pyramid. Here is a cuboid, or sometimes we call it a rectangular prism. Hexaprism. Wow, that's a challenging shape. Pentagonal pyramid.
trapezoid, trapezoidal prism. Pentagonal prism. So that's a little activity that you could do at home using Play-Doh and toothpicks or spaghetti. Trying to construct and build 3D shapes. Okay? Thank you very much.